Hi everyone, this is the continuation of uh, test uh, 11 and so this is test 12. In this test what we're going to do is to connect the uh, secondary pickup coil, this coil here, which is a air core which is uh, from a shaded pole uh, motor. And at this time the coil is uh, not connected to anything. Here are the two leads. They are disconnected. Let's see. Two of them there. Very small. Anyways. So right now the uh, coil is in operation and is uh, again the same uh, voltage uh, source. So we've got uh, 2.88 volts and it's sending back again uh, uh, 200 uh, microamps uh, to the, there's a more accurate uh, setting there. So again, 222, 23 uh, microamps is being returned. And what we're going to do now is just rest this uh, coil over on top of this one here. So we've got maximum coupling happening right there. So there it is, rested on there and the leads are not connected obviously like I said they're just hanging there and um, if we look at our data mostly here on the precision uh, meter we can see that the uh, voltage uh, or the yeah well basically it's a measured voltage across that uh, is dropped from uh, 223 to uh, 213 so 10 uh, microamps less by uh, adding that mass of copper on top there. So uh, what I believe is some of the energy is bleeding into that copper. But we're not extracting any energy of that yet. Uh, the question was is if I retune, can I increase that back to where we were? And the answer to that I thought was yes, but the answer is actually no. No, I can't change that optimum setting even though I introduce that mass of copper. So the next thing I'll do is I'm going to connect the, uh, these, these uh, alligator clips here to the wires, which one of them is the white one going through this uh, single diode here to uh, give us a positive here uh, energy on the capacitor and the negative is just directly connected uh, so we're just using a single uh, diode and that capacitor is a 57 57.6 uh, uh, microfarad uh, I keep using these cap caps because they have good connections on the top they're really easy to clip and uh, our meter we're going to just measure the voltage uh, that we have there and we've got a uh, 1k uh, ohm uh, resistor here as load and um, here is the scope shot of the uh, lump of, uh, of copper added there and there is the uh, data on that. So I'll do a uh, scope shot of that and I'll post that as well with the test. So that's with the coil uh, added and now I'll take away the coil I don't know if it'll change anything. No, I can't see any difference there. It's too small of a difference. Okay, so I'll stop the camera and connect them. Actually, before I connect those, uh, I decided to connect my uh, scope probe across the uh, pickup coil. And my scope probe is on t times 10 now. And that is the uh, form there. So this is our uh, switch here, or generator going to the uh, gate and this is the probe across the uh, pickup coil here that's uh, what we're seeing and there is the data so I, I'll take a scope shot of that and I will post uh, that as well with the test okay I now have the uh, leads connected uh, so that 
we are charging that capacitor bank which is uh, connected to this 1k ohm uh, load here and the voltage we're picking up is 0.24 uh, volts and the current is still uh, going backwards and uh, there's a slight retune very 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 small but you can gain it was basically once I connected the load at 206 I believe or 208 and I was able to slightly retune to get it up to about there 212 and this is what the uh, scope scope shot uh, looks like which is very interesting because here is the period of the time that the on the switch is on so the energy is not coming at the on time but when the switch immediately comes off you see now this is the peak here where is it is going uh, against the uh, diode here that's why it's flat and you know coming down to nothing here and starting once again to switch on so let me uh, uh, show you the uh, maybe a few more by changing the uh, time base here here's a few shots so on off and the moment going to the capacitor and load on and again capacitor and load and so on so that's uh, kind of interesting to see and I'll post the uh, scope shots of that okay now the only change here I've done is I've disconnected the 1k ohm load and allow the capacitor to uh, charge itself to a highest level and that's where it uh, can charge itself to uh, but that's actually after slightly retuning uh, it charged to higher actually without retuning but retuning to get the most uh, energy uh, back uh, this is what it's uh, doing so that costs a lot to charge a capacitor to a high voltage uh, it works better without with a uh, higher load on it actually I found that the higher the more load there is the uh, less energy is, or the more efficient the send back is so as you see now we're at 161 and um, this is what the scope shot looks like here so right now the uh, phase alignment is a lot more with the on pulse and there's probably some back EMF happening in there and they're fighting each other therefore not making it as efficient as the other way right so the load should be uh, predetermined to uh, figure out what's the most uh, efficient so there is the data so I've obviously retuned because I had to go down to get that and uh, what I'll do now is I'll just redo uh, it uh, tuned the other way so that is truly the maximum uh, capable uh, voltage on the capacitor uh, bank without a load 12.49 and that's where the uh, send back current went down to uh, basically uh, 122 or 123 uh, is the uh, figure there and uh, if we look at our scope shot same kind of scenario uh, going on there as well and there is the uh, data there so I'll post uh, these results and uh, we'll continue on with the uh, tests thanks for watching